Now it's been some time, I think, since I've done any Wayland configuration videos, or more specifically Sway configuration videos, the window manager, the drop-in replacement for i3 on Wayland. And this video is going to be about the clipboard that you can use in Sway, like a drop-in replacement for Xclip, which of course Xclip is for X11. Okay, now one thing I know that some people don't like to hear is that X11 is being replaced by Wayland in the sense of X11 is like bit rotting now, as they call it, and X11 is the, um, sorry, Wayland is the future for X11. Sway is a drop-in replacement for i3. The X11 apocalypse will happen, so it's just being future-proofed, just having the option, if you need it, to have Wayland, have Sway, to continue your work in the future. And that's what I'm doing. Obviously, the TTY is the superior way to go, but our hands are tied. We've got to use web browsers, proper graphical environment web browsers, whether we like it or not. And therefore, we're probably going to have to use Wayland in the future. So this is good practice. It's just, again, building up things that we don't necessarily have in our Wayland um, session, let's say. So uh, let's just sort of get into it. Let's have a look at the screen. So uh, I'm on my virtual machine. Okay, so I'm going to start up Sway. And um, first of all, what we need is we need um, our a sort of equivalent to XClip on X11. We need something called Clipman. Now there are other options available. This is just the Sway uh, uh, Arch Linux wiki suggestion for Sway. Use Clipman. It's in the AUR. So we're going to install it using the Yay package manager for the AUR. Um, and here you go. Here's the package details on the AUR. A simple clipboard manager for Wayland. Okay. So you can probably use it in just about any Wayland related protocol or um, window manager desktop environment now probably they probably have it pre-installed but whatever okay so we're in sway um, let's do first of all as you know you should always do your sudo um, pacman dash syu to <clears throat> update your package repositories obviously I've done that so I don't need to and then we want to install clipman oh no you want to um, do yay dash sua to update your yay package well your aur packages so just update your whole system basically so do the first one sudo pacman dash syu and then yay dash sua and now we're going to do yay dash s and we're going to do uh, clipman okay and we're going to do just capital i for install whatever okay so this might take a few moments and put my password. Remember, don't run sudo with yay, okay? Because yay or your packages live in your user repository, okay? We don't want to give them sudo privileges, whatever. This is just standard stuff. Okay, so this is installing, and it installs, I think, WL clipboard or something. Yeah, WL clipboard, as you can see up there briefly. Oh, here you go. So clipman, clipman, debug, whatever. Okay. Um, that is installed. So next thing we're going to do is follow the Sway uh, sort of manual here. So in your config file, we're going to put this in our config. Okay, so I'm going to type this out because you know you want to see me terribly type out some configuration line okay so dot config dash sway dash config and as you see i've got my little commented out clipboard bit here so this is where it's i'm going to put it so we need to exec uh wl paste is it wl paste dash t text uh, double oops, double dash watch uh, clipman store and I think it's double dash no p 
persistent. Make sure you spell this correctly. Persist. No, persist. Persist. Is that how you do it? P E R S I S T. There we go. That looks right. So save that. Oh. Save that properly. Hope I did that right. Yeah. Didn't break it. Okay. Just going to clear that. Why am I clearing it? I don't know. So once we've done that, we're going to restart uh, Sway. So I'm going to do P kill Sway. Clear all that. And then I'm going to run Sway again. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to run Firefox. Okay. And let's go on the BBC. Because why not? We just want to copy something and let's say let's copy this obviously it's not running the fastest on my virtual machine as you well know by now we'll copy this there we go Ooh. It's not what I wanted I didn't actually want to click into that let's just go back uh, let's try this again I'm gonna copy come on let's right click that it's painful okay so let's open a new terminal window okay let's make this bigger so the cliche is that like xclip you middle click to paste okay so if I middle click middle clicking so middle clicking on your on your on your uh, mouse that just paste now if I highlighted stuff in my terminal I middle click it will just paste it so when you highlight something in Linux let's say let's put it in general terms whether it's xclip or uh, clipman in this case that goes into the copy buffer and you can just paste it okay now you can I guess bind paste keys um, I'm not sure control V works in this like the sort of old Windows style pasting but that's the way to do it on Linux now though again you can probably bind your keys to do it a certain way we can look at that in the future uh, yeah control V doesn't necessarily work but you probably got a middle click on your mouse or your ThinkPad. As you know, I'm not a big fan of uh, mouse keys, but hey, I'm not a fan of the graphical environment. This is just our our life, okay? This is the way it is. So, you know, again, you can do it from this here, and then you should be able to do that. There you go. So it works across um, Windows, uh, well, um, Windows sessions, let's say, or where I can't even remember, I can't even remember how to Linux across terminals, all this kind of stuff, graphical programs it shares your clipboard, there you go, it's as simple as that so I think that is pretty much it we'll leave it there, so there you go, now we are now future proofed on the clipboard for Wayland, for Sway and I will be doing one soon, I think, on Devour. So this is where you swallow windows. I hate that word, but that's what I'm going to look at. Anyway, we'll leave it there. And uh, I want to give... Well, first of all, I didn't say it in my last video. You need to do the fake YouTube thing, of course. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget about that. Most One of the most important things. But I want to give special thanks to my Patreons. That's Sean. That is um, HTX80Nerd and uh soul so thank you guys very much if you want to become a patreon of the channel support the channel look at the description um and you get to have early access videos and see your name on the end of the screen like these guys anyway we will leave it there and i'll see you in the next one